Okay, welcome back to Game Shark FX channel. This time we are about to do some little bit more advanced hacking. We are about to hack the items of Resident Evil 2. Not all of them, but the basic things to get to get started to understand how the mechanics work behind hacking items in games. And uh, that's before we do it, let's just analyze this, uh, what we can see here. So in Resident Evil 2, you have items, and those items are different in that way that we have gun that has bullets, we have knife that has no bullets, there are keys you can use, and all those logics are usually implemented in the game code itself but uh, but in any way you have to have some way to say that this here is a area for storing the items the player has then we have a box which has which is basically the other list that ha that holds those items so obviously there has to be two locations where items can change so first we're going to focus on this first item to search the code and uh, removing this here and clear search so uh, what is very often in common is that when you have no items that is usually turned into zero this is usually item zero not always there are a few cases that uh, have some other things there but we can find it either way but um, if you keep in mind that it's at no item is a zero you can greatly reduce the searching uh, results from the memory so first things first let's just put all the things away and let's take a knife and we are focusing into this first item here so the game hacking usually goes like this that you're focusing or something and you really try to mess with it you change it and you accordingly you either say it's a gra it's a equal not equal it's a greater it's a less and you pause the game or in this instance the game is running all the time but uh, you know old times when real game shark or explorer was hooked into playstation you had to pause the game and the search was slower way slower but here you can very quickly search and you can build up different strategies to really find it fast so this is the best way to hack those games and uh, yeah so knife is set and we don't know the knife value but we are going to say that clear grab all the memory grab all the memory so and while we did it Nothing really changed, knife is still back, so we can say it's still equal. We are still, 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 and still is equal because we are not doing anything other. We only changed the knife. And now we put the knife away. And now we say it has become a zero again. Okay, so half of those went missing. So let's say I'm taking knife back and I say it's. Uh, not e it's uh, not equal now well, we got two hits okay so cool and let's put the knife down again and we can see it's a zero and we got one hit okay so obviously we got the address where magic is happening so and that's the end of it we, we won't use this game shark emulator anymore we just to, we just wanted to find the address and to start exploring this um, game in memory and so I collect this first part of the address and go into the memory window 
and it's it's here so I'm going to make a jump 0x to that memory location which is here and let's make these windows a little bit larger like so then we can see better all right so let's say we don't know what's going on in here but let's take let's just take the knife and see what happens okay so zero one zero one up here and here okay this is interesting zero one zero one okay let's put it away what's going to happen if I Let's let's try a trick. Let's try a trick. Let's we found the address, uh, and we obviously know that this address 3C is um, the first part is the first byte which is in here, and this is the second byte. So let's put it 0101 here and let's turn it into a code. Let's let's put it here. <coughs> <clears throat> let's put it here see what happened okay we got knife back now let's see if I put that knife here I could steal the knife because I'm forcing that memory address I'm actually replicating knives right now now let's turn the goat off and copy this last knife okay we are back to zeros what's gonna happen if I take two knives here Zero one zero one zero 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 one zero one. Okay, we have some pattern here. Let's take the third knife. Okay, so obviously, for one knife we need, for one item here, they are using the game devs decided to use four bytes. We don't know the actual st structure in the code, but but we can deduce it and. We could probably try to see what the other numbers here mean, but okay, so zero one zero one. That's that's interesting. So what those numbers do? Let's let's put a knife down and let's take a handgun here. So zero one zero one is our knife, then now two empty bytes and two zero one. So what changed? Really change the knife. Okay, let's let's take those bullets too. So, okay, 14 1 E. So we can say that 0 1, first one, is the item counter or item ID. So 0 1, 0 2, and we can say that um, 0 is nothing. Zero one is a knife. Zero two is a handgun, and one four is handgun bullets. All right. So let's test that. One e, one e in Python. If you want to see what the number in decimal is, just write down one, one, uh, one four. Okay, this is the item ID, but 1E is 30, 30 bullets we have, so what if I change it to, uh, let's say, hex 99, so we have to write the 60, one, <coughs> six, six three, and we get 60 bullets, Let, let's see, is it the case or not, so in hex, in hex 6 and 3. We get 99 bullets, okay. It's not the 99 bottles of whatever, but it's uh, 99 bullets. Okay, so... And this is the item counter. Okay, let's let's see further. Let's see what other items do we have here. Let, let, let's, let's put everything down. And... Let's tear it this eyes. Let's put here... One, let's put it zero three and zero one. We got a, we got handgun. Okay, let's let's see. We got another handgun, and this one is a 
this is a glare handgun. Okay, cool. So let's see if I say I put here. Let's see if I put zero four. Oh, it's that custom handgun. Oh, I like that. Let's put some awesome amount of bullets there. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I like that. So this is. Uh, I can write it down. Zero four is custom handgun. And zero five is a magnum. Oh, that's cool. Zero six is a custom hang magnum. That's also great stuff. Zero seven is a shotgun. Oh, and obviously zero eight should be custom shotgun. Did you know that if you shoot into the camera, you can get the bullet holes? Let me show you. This is quite fun. Oh, a little bit too high. It has to be hitting directly the camera, and you can see those bullet holes, which is great. Okay, let's continue exploring our items. So, zero 09 is a grenade launcher, zero A is a red ammo, zero B. Zero C is a bowgun, Leon cannot use it, game will crash, zero C, A, B, C, D, zero D, Colt SSA, I wish Leon could use that, zero E, is a spark shot, zero F, submachine gun, alright, so zero, <coughs> oh, let, let's actually, let's explore that weapon. So we have to re-equip it, and we have a submachine gun. So now comes the interesting part. If we s put the thing away, it will get icon updated. If I put it back, we only see the half of it. Why? Why? Why is that? Where is that other half? So for that reason, we have to analyze the game more. So we have items which have digits, we have items that don't have digits, and we have items that use two slots in the item menu, and we have items that have one, it's taking one slot in the item menu. So obviously here is something different. And the game has to know somehow that this item should be using two positions. So could it be that those last two bytes we have not yet used is triggering something there like maybe if I write either of those something something happens with the item let's try so let's start with one let's go zero X go zero one okay so Oh, something happened. It takes now one larger space. And let's put this item down and see. Oh, the icon is fixed now nicely. Okay, this is good. Let's take it back. And we have the item restored nicely. Okay, so that was 0F. And. Let's uh, put that down and let's create it again. So zero F bullets and zero one. We got our machine gun, new machine gun. Okay, so zero E is a spark shot. All right, this is clear weapon. So zero F zero E. Okay, we were there. So one. 1F, small key, 0F, okay, 110 is a flame tower, okay, great, so we fix that too, uh, let's say 1, 1, uh, 0, 8, 0, 1, this is a rocket launcher, 
Okay, cool. So... I'm for the love of that weapon, I'm gonna shoot it, spare it me. This is, this is just way too good. This is just... Oh, I like it. I like it so much. I could... They should be making a game out of just rocket launchers. I remember when I got it first, when I was playing it. Oh, I abused that weapon so much. Okay, let's let's continue. So, what happens if we press one, two? Catlin gun, handgun bullets. Okay, now we have interesting. We have item, but this no longer used two spaces, so we can put this thing down. And the rocket launcher remained because it consisted two parts, okay, whatever. So, 14 is, what about 15 shotgun bullets, alright. We can create an icon for that too, so what about one, six, magnum bullets. Alright, one seven fuel fuel for flame tower. Uh, this is cool. So one seven one eight grenade rounds flame rounds one a acid rounds one p magnum. Machine gun bullets, alright. This is kind of cool. I wonder if I take a machine gun, I turn their bullets to zero, one. So we can make a one shot of it. It should reload. I don't remember if the game has machine. Gun bullet somewhere. I don't really remember that. <coughs> Top three, eight, zero rounds. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, it loads. I don't remember if I've seen that. Let's try again, this is so fun. So, let's put this back so. One zero B was it? No, no zero B, one B, and let's say it's one percent, two percent. Actually, let's replicate those. Let's put it here. I really want to see the animation again. So this should the code should be. Uh, one B zero two. Uh, one uh, one B zero two. Uh, one B zero two. And let's turn it into code. On. Oh, it's a reverse order because the little Indian, big Indian thing. So zero two one B. <coughs> Off and on again. We got our bullets here, and let's stock up. Let's stock up our armory of almost empty cartridges. So let's now. Let's take our machine gun. No, 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 no. Let's take our beloved machine gun and. Oh, he's adding those up. Okay. Well, actually. I can ignore that and. Okay, one. 
B zero one zero 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 one B zero one zero zero one B zero one zero zero one B zero one and now we have more of those so let's try to see that animation again I really like that so Okay. And we are out of bullets. Leon, you are now officially in problem. Because the game Shark Man is not giving you any more bullets, so you have to find your own bullets in the game. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. And in the next video, we are about to do something really crazy. I've been thinking about this for a long time now, but we're going to take a look about something. When I first did it, it blew my mind. Um, yeah, I will tell you this in the next video. But this is all what I can say for item hacking. Same principle as applied to any game, and it doesn't have to be even the PlayStation game, it can be any game. Some are harder, some are easier, but that's the essence of it. Once you have this way to search things, once you have access to memory, you can just do all the crazy things you can imagine. And you can even have items fixed in screen as we just witnessed through that third parameter here. And that's it. So, have a nice time, and I, I hope you are going back, coming back to next video. So, bye.